So this is my Pit Boss electric smoker. And the problem I've been having with this is it does not reflect the accurate temperature. The, the monitor down here, you can set it to, let's say, 230. And my Thermapro probe I put in there shows it's about 260. That's just, it, it can be anywhere from 30 to 40 degrees off, depending on what area you're operating in. Um, now, they've sent me the new, have already sent me a new probe. Um, sorry, not probe, but the temperature monitor there. They've also replaced this entire control unit and it's still tracking off. And they say, well, my Thermal Pro isn't designed to measure ambient temperature, just the temperatures and meats. Okay, got it. Think you're full of it, but I got it. So what I did is I went and bought the, the good old analog plain Jane thermometer. I've got it hanging in here and we're going to set this up and we're going to see how it runs. If you can see that, I set my time for 10 hours just so it's got loads of time and set my temperature for 150 and we will see now um, how it runs. We have the elements running. We'll see when it thinks it gets to 150 what it really is going to read. Right now we're at 55 degrees. It's a little cool out here this morning. Let me set it. There you go. 10 hours and 150 degrees. And it's climbing. You can see the elements off it thinks it's at 150 and I don't know if you'll be able to read this in here but it is sitting at 150 we're gonna go up to to 190 so now it's it had been at 190 it's toggled to 185 you see the element is off you can see up in there if it'll focus enough it's sitting right at 200 so it's about 10 degrees warmer than it than it's thinking it is at 190 okay, we just said 225 Elements on, working as it should. We'll climb up and see at 225 what we, what the analog probe feels the temperature is. Okay. Right now we're not, we're still not up to where we're trying to go to 225. But what I want to show you is heating is at 215, and if you can tell in here, it thinks it's at about 225. So right now it's about 10 degrees hotter at that point than it thinks it is. Okay, we're at 215 still. Still trying to get to 225 elements on. I don't know if you can tell this, but it's about 240 in there right now. See the elements off. It was at 225. By the time I got my camera on, it, it says 230 in there now. And if you can read that, it will focus in. It's about 245 is what the analog thermometer is reading. Again, it's saying 230 here. We're gonna go ahead and set it 225. We're gonna up our temperature. We're gonna go up to 250. And the elements back on as it should be and we'll see what it reads at that point. Okay, so going for 245, or we're at 245 now, going for 250. At 245, of course, the element's still on, which it should be. And our probe has not moved much. It's it's sitting just at, it may be at 255 is about where it's sitting at. As you can see the elements turned off now. It's it's uh, says it's 250, which is what we were looking for. And again, it's sitting right about 255. We're going to go in here. We're going to change our temperature again. We're going to say let's go up to 275. Let's say we'll go to 280. And we'll stick at 275. And of course, it, the element came back on, and we'll see what it's gonna gonna read. So again, it's sitting at about 255. Okay, and we just turned off at 275, which is what we were looking for. And we're reading close to about 280, I guess, on there. So that's about five degrees off. So it, it's doing pretty good, basically, compared um, to the digital one. The analog one here is, is seems to be more reflective. Um, of what the actual controller that came with the pit boss thinks it's at. Okay, now we're going to go up to 300 and see how we do there. We're going to 300, we're at 285. It was just at 290, showing 285 there now. If you can see, it's reading about 325 in the system on the analog one. Still trying to get to 300. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that very well or not i'm sitting at 290 still trying to get to get to 300 it's kind of tough out here you see toggle back and forth it's about 
it's in the shade over here. And it's probably about 50 degrees over here in the shade. Um, but nonetheless, I'm sitting here at about 325 um, is what the analog meter's reading. So that's, that's a fair chunk above um, what it thinks it's supposed to be at. It just hit 300. Units off, reading like 325. I don't know if I can get there where you can read that. That will about 325. So about 25 degrees off there for that at the high Overall, end. Overall, I would say that if you can trust the analog meter gauge more, that I I feel that the, the unit performs better than I thought it was performing using the Thermal Pro digital um, reader. Even though the Thermal Pro was, was calibrated, it was within a degree easily um, based on the boiling water checkout. So kind of unusual why that would make a difference on which the mobber use um but we'll, we shall see like so I've, co I've cooked a couple of meats in it so far and have used it pretty well but i just don't like the idea it could be so far off but maybe it's not off as far as i think it is so we shall see so it says we're at 225 you can read through here we're it's this is showing probably about 205 here and then the Thermal Pro is reading 231. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to say. Now, what you know? What do you believe? What you don't believe? So, it's not too far off in in the end, I guess. Um, across the range. So, of course, I'm not going to try to return it at this point. It's just having to learn how to operate it within those limitations that it has. Um, I've even thought about getting rem removing this and getting one of the thermometers that goes in here permanently and screw it in so I've got something there just in an additional uh, temperature reading to to help me kind of monitor what the internal temperature is thanks